Hello there and welcome to Namigant Academy. Today, we are going to continue from our video uh, which we title it How to Learn Graduate Level and High Academic Level Writing. The video was very long, so we divided the video into two parts. And if you have not watched the first part, I have linked the video, the first part of the video are down there and top here so that you can watch that before you continue from this part. And if you have not yet subscribed to the, the channel, I encourage you to subscribe to it and to share the channel and the videos with your colleagues. Let's look at ways to learn or develop these writing skills. I have two uh, points to talk here. First is the institutional level training. Either it is a course that is being offered by the university or a workshop or writing group try to participate inside. For example, in some graduate school, currently we are seeing emerging courses of writing, academic writing courses, where they teach techniques of reviewing work, writing thesis, writing articles, and so on and so forth. If you have it, take it in. If it, if it is available in your institution, take it. If it's scoring, take it. If it's not scoring, take it. It's going to help you. And in some universities, there is an emerging group of uh, writers group that is being organized and moderated by the uh, institute to help students and foreign students to learn how to write academic writing and others, mostly you can find these courses or groups. Join it and try to take full advantage of it. In most libraries across the world, they organize seminars on writing, on research, on academic speech, academic writing, and so on and so forth. Follow your universities library calendar and look at it whether they have these courses or these seminars and try as much as possible to take full advantage of it. And also in some universities they have language uh, checking sentence in support of uh, more publication these universities have a section of the library or a section of dean of research or dean of student where you can bring your work to the consultant or the person in charge for him to prove, read your work and suggest some correction in the aspect of the language and also help you in writing the thesis or in writing the articles or the professional output. Try as much as possible to take advantage of this. And this information is not commonly available everywhere. You have to seek for the information. Go to the dean of students, go to the dean of research, go to the student center or foreign center or welcome center, no matter how you call it and ask for this uh, kind of help, and surely you can get. Even if your university don't provide it and you know that there is an adjacent institution or university that provide these services, you can even pay for it and learn because it's very important aspect of career. Writing is important in everybody's career, especially if you are in a researcher, either in the industry or in the academics, or you are 
academicians, you need to write reports, you need to write a lot. The second aspect is individual initiative or independent initiatives that you can take is about is somehow personal or you and some your colleagues come together you have to practice a lot practice by yourself practice 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 read good work read a lot of words in your field as you read, you see the style of the writing, you come and understand it very well. And this practicing of writing yourself is going to help you a lot. The second aspect is review works of people. Either your, your own work or others' work, you, every time you see a work, maybe you can read it in a perspective that you are a reviewer you want to understand the structure and the sentence level accuracy and others, how those people were able to write this work. And that the fourth, the third level or the third initiative you can do is copying from model. In that you are going to write an article, you are going to write a manuscript, you search and get from your own judgment the best of the article. And look at how the person wrote the article of thesis. If you want, uh, let's say you are writing a thesis work, you can download four or five theses previously accepted by your university. If your university is given award for best thesis or department for best thesis, you can get the best thesis of three or four years together, put them and study them word to word how they do it. And then you can match the structure together to come out with unique structure. Or you can also uh, take any one of them and follow how the person is writing. And in your own words, with your own idea, you transform it there. And this copy model is one of the profound methods that everybody is using. Most people are using this kind of model. Either you are a lecturer, either you are a supervisor, you are a professor and a uh, graduate student. You need this level because uh, See, you, you, there are a lot of good work that has been done that you can look at it very well and you when you follow it and you read and you review and you practice that kind of writing, it becomes part and parcel of you. So I encourage you not to select only one of the method, either the uh, institutional level, formal institutional training, or your individual initiative and practice. No, merge them together as much as possible and that you can be able to bring best out of it. And now the last part of my video is the advice I have for you. First is do not expect personal training from your supervisor for him to teach you how to write. No, you might be deceiving yourself. Start your own initiative and seek for his help. If he helps you, and of course he will do when you seek it, take it as a gift and be serious with the time he will allocate to you. Also, be aware from the onset that writing is never easy and it's always difficult, it's always challenging. But writing is rewarding and is simulated. The more you practice, the more you see different ways of expressing the same idea and that you can come out with a variety of things. It's simulating and always try as much as possible to draft your work using pen and paper first, other than typing directly. And also, try as much as possible to learn how to 
manage your ego and how to manage your anger, especially when it comes to negative feedback from supervisors and reviewers that in academic, you are going to face this criticism and negative feedback throughout your academic career. So the earlier you learn anger management and ego management, the better. And also remember that you are not alone in this challenge of writing. Even the senior researchers and senior academics, some of them are facing this similar uh, uh, related challenges. The most important thing is to practice and to advance a bit by bit and all will be okay. And also remember, struggle over academic writing is natural because generally, Nobody sits us down as academics to teach us uh, how to do this writing. Although now we are seeing emerging trends in seminar courses and workshops. So if the struggle is natural and try as much as possible to learn and that you will see the rewarding aspect of it. And also, training yourself is a necessary part of academic development. Never take red ink or red circle in your work personal. When you write a work and you submit it to your supervisor or a colleague, and he write a lot of, uh, indicate a lot of red ink inside, Never take his personal. It's all aspect of your training. Correct it. Send it back. Take the feedback. Correct it. Send it back. Take the feedback. And before you realize you are an expert in academic level writing. Try as much as possible to produce work that has to do with output to external bodies. And this is the secret. If you want your advisor or supervisor to help in your academic writing in your thesis work, try to publish work that, or try to take a report, or let's say try to do an external project that will require a lot of reporting on Time, like different in all aspects of uh, the work we have to report in a terminal or in semester. So all this report is going to external uh, body or the university funding services and that when you write the report, which will be part of your thesis work in any language you, they choose, that work, because it's going to the external bodies, and that your supervisor is supervising you, his integrity and identity is at risk, he will take time to revise it first and to ask you, go and do this correction. You do again, he revise it until it's full and it's standard before he asks you to submit. When you have that kind of thing, surely your final output of your thesis will not face any problem. Or even if Exa uh, your publication is not part of your uh, academic requirements, try to publish. Because by publishing, your supervisor will correct it, it will, super, it will take serious of that work, and that you try to divide your thesis work into different, different publications, even if it's not high-level journal. And that, because it's going to be published, the supervisor will sit down and correct it. And that he he doesn't he don't he will not he or and that he or she will not like that unstandardized work to be published and that is going to tarnish his own image and therefore is going to take your work very serious. So the most important aspect here to involve your supervisor in your graduate work is a project that involves reporting and writing of article. Another aspect is before you give your work to 
any of your superior to revise it, please and please try and give it to a colleague to look. Because uh, the superior or the supervisor is not expecting common grammatical error from you and other staff. So when you give it to your colleague in win to win that you also you review his own work that this colleague can be able to edit it and to revise it for you and you also you help him when you are comfortable with that two or three of your colleagues have revised your work that time you can submit it to your supervisor or to your uh, superior to supervise and that a lot of correction will not be involved finally I advise you to write early as possible. Every time when you are in the graduate school, start writing your thesis, start writing your manuscript and report as early as possible because it will be write, revise, get feedback, write, revise, get feedback, write, revise, get feedback. With this said and done, thank you for your time and attention and I hope you enjoy this video. Try as much as possible to subscribe to this channel and try as much as, as possible to share this video with your colleagues and that they can also enjoy and benefit from what I discuss here. See you in my next video.